All right. I have determined that on this channel, it is my mission to call out janky products and the businesses that make them. <clears throat> In comes the latest offender, Vitamix, who arguably makes some of the most overrated, overpriced, and lackluster available on the market today. Uh, Vitamix has their Ascension series. They all, there's one other model as well that allows you to have basically a food processor attachment as well as a smoothie bullet and a little eight ounce mixing bowl probably like baby food and this kind of thing whatever i don't know what the f you're mixing in a little eight ounce bowl um i own an ascension with the food processor and i can testify that it is one of the jankiest sloppiest crappiest designs available on the market today um you can get a Ninja, the entire Ninja system with 40 bulls and 17 base stations. The Ninja is basically like the Jose Banks of uh, kitchen appliances. Like buy one blender, get 17 free. Whereas Vitamix, the base itself costs you $500 and then every attachment after that's like an additional 200. Anyway, Vitamix is now having to do a product recall because the bowl and the bullet slice off your fingers if you try to pull them off. Anyway, you go to their website, you type in your information, and they send you one of these. Now, the whole idea is that you're supposed to attach this plastic dog collar looking bowl thing onto the base of the Vitamix, and it basically acts like a little shield for the bullet or the bowl. Now, Considering that it's almost $700 to buy the base and then the little smoothie bowl, this is the solution? This is what they're sending you? For $700, they should be redesigning the entire bullet and then sending you a whole new one of those. But no, instead they send you this dumb bullshit plastic guard, this little shield. This is an acceptable solution? For a product that is shy of $1,000, that's an embarrassment. I, for, I'm tired, I'm so tired of these greedy ass corporations selling things for the price of a Lamborghini and delivering that of a Yugo. And it is, it's just all too common these days. I get so many products in this door now that are just so unbelievably disappointing because, I don't know, the marketing team didn't talk to the design team, the engineers were taking a break. So some guy off the street, you know, threw it together with duct tape. I'm over it. Bottom line is I wouldn't recommend Vitamix any more than I'd recommend probably even like Yeti or some of these other overpriced uh, brands. Uh, but I certainly wouldn't recommend Vitamix uh, in their Ascension series. I will admit that the blender on the Vitamix is probably second to none in terms of its actual like blending capabilities. But that's that's if you are using the blender itself. And by the way, I have actually had some problems with my Vitamix, like the blender part as well. But I'll for ignoring that aspect, it does blend things better than a Ninja does. It just it just straight up does. Ninja should just steal the design from Vitamix and you'd be good to go. Anyway, I'm getting off off topic here. Bottom line, this is what Vitamix thinks is an acceptable solution to their product recall. I think that that is absolute bullshit. Vitamix, you can and should do better. That's all I got.